strong mathematics department um, compared to a lot of other schools. It's, it's a good rigorous founding and yet being in a liberal arts setting there's a good balance. Not only do our students do well in many different areas in graduate school, in industry, um, <clears throat> in education, but they also um, do well besides mathematics but also being able to articulate their thoughts, being part of the liberal arts experience. They know how to write, they know how to discuss, they know how to present their material. At both schools, both, so both Johnny's and Benny's, um, we have quite a few that go off to grad school and they go into grad school not just in mathematics, uh, they go into statistics, they go into um, just different variations of math related. We've had um, students go into biostatistics, we've had students go into um, engineering programs, we've had students go into uh, law school, you know, it just runs the gamut for that route. And then we have students that go into industry. Um, mathematics is a nice major where you can kind of pick your course of what path you want to take. And so with that, we've had some students uh, pursue uh, becoming an actuary. We've had some work more directly in industrial related math. We've had some uh, work in the math finance area. I'm the person who teaches mathematical modeling, which is uh, a mean course. It's a little different than our other math courses. Instead of uh, a lot of math courses, here's the mathematical theory. Now let's look at some problems that um, applications, real world problems. It's turned around in mathematical modeling. We say, here's a real world problem. Now how do we figure out how to solve this mathematically? And we start kind of going the opposite way and say, well, what tools do we need to solve this problem? So that's a uh, class I've taught here three or four times that um, really enjoyed. It's, it's, um, it became a regular offering initially. It was just a topics course that now has become a regular part of the curriculum.